president decided not to attend this meeting just two days ago. He's gone back to the country. Any signs of stability at this point in time? Uh, absolutely. The president has communicated that, you know, he wants to restore calm, get Zimbabwe working again. It is the right thing to do. Uh, and he's not the only leader who has done this in response to a domestic uh, issue. We've seen it in the UK, Theresa May, and in the US with, uh, with Trump, just to mention a few. So this is normal. He's just trying to do that and to get Zimbabweans to get to work, to work again. Inflation, of course, a huge issue for you, 31%. It is the highest since the hyperinflation episode, which you saw 10 years ago. What are the key drivers for that, and what's being done to address it? Well, well it's being driven by the parallel market in terms of pricing. That's what has pushed up the, the, the prices. Uh, people speculating, uh, you know, producers speculating, retailers speculating, and that has pushed up uh, in, in inflation. Uh, well, what we're doing about it is just to make sure that on the fiscal front, we continue to make sure there is fiscal discipline, cutting back on government expenditure, making sure that it is not the fiscus that is adding to inflationary pressures. And of course, we are, we are moving uh, step by step towards full currency reform, which in our view will deal with these uh, inflation and currency and, and evaluation issues going forward. But why would those measures work? This is a country that is short of fuel, short of cash, short of food. Uh, the, uh, okay, this, uh, what, what you're mentioning is just the symptoms of the, of the, of the crisis in the first place. Uh, these measures will work. We have to walk the, this road. If you look at what has caused the, the, this, the crisis in the first place, it has been high budget deficits in the past, and we're dealing with that, making sure that it moves from double digit to single digit uh, by, by the end, end, end of this year, making sure that we cut back on government waste, deal with the current account deficit, but most of all, uh, you know, get onto the road of full Currency reform. Just by doing that, we will restore some equilibrium and these uh, problems will be behind Sing us. Single so, digit so. inflation by the end of the year. We're looking at what? No, no, not single digit inflation. I'm talking about uh, the budget deficit right. uh, coming down to single digit. How about in terms of inflation? What's the Treasury's projection for the year end inflation? Uh, for, the, for December, we're expecting an inflation that is single digit indeed, uh, but it, it will take a few months naturally to, to, to get there. Part of it is technical in the sense that we are coming from a low base and then with the sharp hike in prices in October 2017, that has moved us to a higher level of the index, and that creates a, 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 technical, a technically higher figure for inflation. But if you look at month on month, the inflation figure is actually single digit. It's actually 9% uh, for the last uh, two months at least. Uh, you've talked about reintroducing your own currency uh, within the next, what, two years? Uh, what conditions must be present before that can happen? Uh, a, a lot needs to be done for that, that to happen, which first of all is fiscal uh, discipline, making sure that uh, we bring the budget deficit into single digit. As I said, uh, runaway government expenditure is, is curtailed. Also making sure that there's compliance on the revenue uh, collection front. That really deals with, uh, with, with that in terms of fiscal uh, discipline. Uh, but also we need to build the, the micro institutions for full monetary policy conduct in the sense of introducing a monetary policy committee, making sure that we, we put in place a, a framework for inflation targeting, but also a growth targeting in a way. Uh, but and externally, making sure that we can begin to address our areas in terms of what we owe to other nations, the Britain institutions in, included. So dealing with that, those are the conditions for the introduction of a currency. But fiscal discipline is key. And if you notice what, what has happened since October 2017, uh, uh, the premiums in the power market uh, have stabilized, and that is actually due to fiscal discipline. So you're saying that you're making progress in terms of the conditions that need to be met. And you talked about the area. It's $5.6 billion. Realistically, when can that well, we, there are two steps to that. The first step is to clear what we owe to the World Bank and the African Development Bank, who, who are the uh, you know, preferred creditors in a way. Well, we're working on that. First of all, we say that to the world, we want to show that we're making progress on the macroeconomic front and walk the talk. We are doing that. It's painful. There are protests, but we have to stay the, the, the cost. So, so we clear those two institutions first, and then we move on to the second phase, which is a negotiation with the, the Paris Club, the, the bilateral partners in terms of what what, what we all so we're making steps in that direction in terms of uh, bailout loans you've approached china russia south africa uh, they have all failed those efforts are you considering 
approaching the Western countries for your bailout loans? Oh, we're pro approaching everyone. We, we, we are looking everywhere, look, east, west, <laughs> everywhere where, where we think we could get... Such uh, as which countries uh, have you approached? Uh, 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 oh, without n n n naming any, let me say every, but, but also the private sector. In fact, while I'm here, I'm hoping to approach three uh, private sector uh, you know, credit providers who are very keen to work with us, especially in providing uh, fuel, in giving us a couple of credit lines uh, up to the tune of 500 million US, US, US dollars. So we continue to source credit, credit lines. This is normal. There's nothing abnormal in, in sourcing credit lines.